What's good, YouTube? I'm Robert with the Crosscut Creations channel. Today, we're gonna turn this pen blank into a pen. This pen blank was sent to me by John Pierce. Let's go. I took this blank straight to the lathe because it was already tube in label cast for me and it was already ready to go. I put it on the lathe, I put my Wall Street 2 bushings on, and I got to work. This blank turned like a dream but I was super nervous because it was such a personal blank for me so I took this one very slowly. While we're watching the turning, I thought I would tell a story. My grandfather had a workshop, and he was always tinkering in his workshop. He had all kinds of tools, and he just loved to be down there. By the time he had passed, I never really got into the projects that he had, uh, was interested in, or I, I, it was just not me at the time. So I never really got to be in the shop with him. However, one Christmas, he made all of the kids Noah's Arks where the lid was removable and inside the Ark was a space and compartment for all of the animals. I had found out later that my grandmother had drawn all the patterns for those animals. I wish I could show you this Noah's Ark in this video, but that, that'll be for another time. My grandfather also got all the girls one year for Christmas, got them music boxes that he personally made. He was incredibly skilled and he was always working on something. I don't think I got the skill set from him, or maybe I did, it just skipped a generation as my dad never had a shop or he, he never tinkered with anything, so I, I guess it was somewhat passed on to me, even though the only reason I got into making was because I accidentally stumbled upon a video on YouTube one time. And then one video became two videos, became ten videos, became, well, you guys get the idea. Looking back, I wish I had picked my grandfather's brain more when I had the chance, but just like anything with life, hindsight is twenty twenty. At this point, I'll stop talking and let you finish watching the turning of this blank and we get when we get to the next process I will continue with this voiceover After I got the blank down to the bushings or close to the bushings, I spent a lot of time with 220 grit sandpaper to get the final shaping. I went through 220 grit, 400, 1000, and 2000. After I got through the sandpaper, I wet sanded 1500 through 12000 with the micro mesh, and this really shined the blank up nicely. I spend the most time on the 1500 grit pad and I spend the least amount of time on the 12,000 grit pad. After I finish the micro mesh, I go ahead and put paste wax on and then after I put the paste wax on, 
I buff it out and after I buff that out I go ahead and use some Hut Ultra Gloss to polish the blank. I apply the, I, I go through my process twice. I apply the polish, I buff it out, I apply the polish again, and I buff it out a second time and that gives the blank a really nice shine. Once I finish turning and sanding and buffing the blank, we can go to assembly. I take all the parts out of the bags so I can lay them out. I take the protective covering of the tip of the ink refill off and I am able to start assembly once I get everything out of the bags. With this being a Wall Street 2 kit, I press in the cap of the pen. And the nice thing about label casts are that they already tell you where your clip is going to go. There's, there's no decision that needs to be made because you, the clip hides the seam of the label really, really well. All we do is push the clip into the back of the pen. We check the fit, make sure that everything is good to go there, and then we can finish assembling the pen. I take the spring and I put it onto the pen. I load it into the nib, and then I put the transmission onto the nib. I thread that on. Once that's threaded on, I test the action for the pen to make sure everything runs smoothly. And then I am able to push the two pieces together and we have a completed pen. This pen was a lot of fun to turn. It was very personal, it was very special. There were a couple times that I was afraid that I was gonna blow the blank apart just because it was such a special blank and I was almost nervous to turn it. The blank was Alumalite and it, even though it turned like butter, it still made me nervous because I didn't want to have it explode on me because it was such a personal blank. I love the way this blank turned out. It, took the sanding and micro mesh really, really well. It polished really nicely. I will absolutely be carrying this pen around and I, I cannot wait, cannot wait to show this off. Thanks again to John Pierce for sending me the blank. It was an absolute treat to turn. It was an honor. I absolutely appreciate it. Thank you, John. And I, I, I couldn't be any more pleased. If you like the video, make sure you give it the thumbs up, make sure you comment, subscribe, share the video if you feel like it's share worthy. I respond to all my comments, so if you comment, I will comment back, and we'll see you next time.